works at the Lamu port. And five years down the line, the infrastructure that will change the face of Lamu is looking up. What is happening on the, on the site now is uh, the construction of the causeway to link the mainland with the port uh, terminals. And it is this causeway that is going to be used for, tra for logistics operations uh, to get uh, lorries and other uh, moving vehicles to get cargo into the port and out of the port. This port is one of the anchor projects for the Lamu Port South Sudan Ethiopia Transport Corridor Program, commonly known as Lapset Corridor. In terms of business, uh, that, uh, the Lapset Corridor Program, uh, beginning with the Lamu Port, is going to introduce in the country and the region. Uh, this is quite enormous. The Lamu Port project was initiated in the year 2011 after being approved by the Cabinet. On 2nd of March 2012, three heads of state, that is, the President of South Sudan, the Prime Minister of Ethiopia, and President Mwai Kibaki of Kenya, jointly launched the Lapset Corridor Program. The contractor for this uh, Lamu Port uh, Fast 3 Terminals uh, project is China Communications Construction Company, that is CCCCC, uh, together uh, with the China Road and Bridge. They are the ones who are working together and they are also China harbors in the construction of the entire port. President Uhuru Kenyatta visited the project on 8th of January 2016. This is where I was standing and this was the end of uh, any works that was coming from uh, the land side. All the rest was water. There was nothing, completely nothing. Works at the Lamu Port project started with the construction of the Lapset Corridor Plaza that will house the port offices. Next was the security and the housing facilities, apart from bringing electricity to Lamu Port, among other services. The project is financed fully by the taxpayer. The government of Kenya allocated 10 billion shillings to the project in the 2016-2017 financial year. A further 10 billion shillings has been allocated in the 2017-2018 budget. What we are witnessing is a real value for money output of what Kenyans are sweating to invest in this particular project. The project is at 20% progress between 2016 and now. We are expecting to have the first terminal facility ready uh, by mid-2018. And all the three terminals will be completed by mid-2020 and ready for operation. Dredging is the other key component of the ongoing works. That particular ship is a dredging vessel that is dredging the, uh, the belly of the sea and uh, is deepening it to about 18 meters deep so that we have one of the best and the deepest uh, ports in Africa. There is high-tech engineering works here. The material dredged from the sea is transported through this pipe and the medium of transportation is water. This is uh, the material that is being dredged from the sea, uh, from the dredger. And then it is transported, it is mixed with water for ease of transportation through the, the large pipes. And then it is now deposited here. This water is uh, flowing together with the dredged materials like this. And it's dumping them, and as it dumps the material, the water is led to flow back uh, into the ocean. So, and the material that is dredged now remains to form the deck. But there is also material that has been brought from outside Lamu for land reclamation. We have another terminal, uh, what we call a JT terminal in uh, Kilifi, for loading of these materials into these barges. Then they are brought here and then they are being dumped into the sea to reclaim uh, the areas. Talk about skills transfer, and this is exemplified by the project's pipe manufacturing factory. There are about 60 workers here. About 45 of them are Kenyans and about 15 are Chinese. 
The reason for us having the Chinese here is because pipe manufacturing of this magnitude has not yet been brought uh, to this country, and this is the first one, specifically to Lamu Port uh, industrial area. And they've come with the technology. So they are working with the local workers for purposes of ensuring quality control. And they are also the ones who know the technology of how to make this particular pipe. So the Kenyans are working alongside them also to learn how to make this particular pipe. I work here as a safety officer. My job here is ensuring the safety of all workers. The Lapset Presidential Scholarship Scheme that uh, is providing uh, education opportunities to youths in Lamu. A thousand youths are being sponsored by the government. At the moment, the government has recruited about 400. They are spread out throughout universities and colleges within the country so that they can be exposed to what uh, processes are really taking place within the Kenya's land space. And at the same time, they are being trained so that they can be able to apply those skills back in Lamu when they get employment opportunities like other ports, the industrial zones, among many others. Besides employment opportunities, the other expected benefit, not only to the local community, but also to the entire region, lies in investment opportunities. Lapset Corridor Program is actually creating new markets, investment opportunities, a special economic zone, not just within Kenya or just within the coast alone, but within the global context. When investors are coming from different parts of the globe to come and invest in Lamu, taking advantage of a world-class infrastructure of this nature, we are actually priming Lamu and the rest of the Lapset Corridor as key and attractive investment platforms beyond our borders. And that actually generates wealth also within the environment. Value of land, land development, real estate development, industrial investments, among many others are going to change Lamu from what it was uh, before. South Sudan and Ethiopia are key partners in this project. Ethiopia is going to be using the port, and uh, we've already uh, completed the road construction between Isiolo and Moyale. <laughs> Ethiopia is also completing its part, another 500 kilometers inside Ethiopia, from Moyale to Hawassa. We'll be having now a seamless flow all the way from Lamu Port to Addis Ababa and beyond. At the same time, we are working uh, jointly on the product oil pipeline to supply Ethiopia with uh, refined oil. That same pipeline is also going to supply northern Kenya. With South Sudan, we are working also on a, a number of uh, fronts. One, we are working on the railway. Two, we are working on the crude oil. Three, we are working on the road. We are already undertaking the construction works, which are going to start soon, uh, for the road link between Kenya and South Sudan. We are constructing all the way to the border, uh, supported by the World Bank, among many other development partners. The project is environment friendly, according to the Lapset Corridor Development Authority. For the entire program, we are just completing a process of uh, undertaking what we call the strategic environmental assessment. For the entire uh, program, throughout the whole country. With that, we are establishing an environmental management policy and a well, what we call make good uh, management policy for the entire program, beginning with Lamu. After that, we are also making sure that every project within the program uh, does have what we call um, the detailed uh, social and environmental impact assessment uh, undertaken to specifically address specific project issues. So we are one, addressing the global issue, where all the composite impacts of all projects <coughs> within the program are tackled. Then we get down to each project component so that we handle all this comp uh, comprehensively. So matters environment, matters culture, matters social are all managed very carefully within the entire Lapset Corridor program. Now, it is expected that the three parts of the Lamu port will be completed by mid-2020 and the Lapset Corridor Development Authority and the local community here are upbeat that upon completion of the project, Lamu will no longer be the same.
The Lamu Port City will be one of the most unique cities in the entire globe.